Hello, I'm Nancy Perlman, here in this Eurasian country of Azerbaijan on the Caspian Sea. On this edition of Eco News, we travel to nature reserves and remote villages in the Caucasus Mountains, see modern resort developments, and visit historic monuments and shrines. Stay with us. <laughs> Azerbaijan, an ancient country where the Middle East, Asia, and Europe meet. It is a land of contrasts, both cultural and geographic. A little smaller than the American state of Maine, this oil-rich nation on the Caspian Sea borders Russia, Georgia, Armenia, Turkey, and Iran. It is a crossroads for the region, located on the historic Silk Road. Its vibrant capital city, Baku, showcases modern structural marvels alongside more traditional European architecture and even medieval walls which once surrounded the city. Baku's old city is a treasure trove of Azerbaijani history. Its stone buildings and its maze of streets hold secrets that have still to be discovered. A masterpiece of old city architecture, rich in history, but with questions still unanswered, is the medieval residence of the rulers of Shirvan, the Shirvan Shah's palace. Baku is the capital and largest city of Azerbaijan. In addition to being the center of government, it is also the technological, financial, and cultural capital of Azerbaijan. The name Baku is widely believed to be derived from an archaic dialect, meaning wind-pounded city. Indeed, the city is renowned for its harsh winds. A restaurant in the basement. Oh, nice. This lovely restaurant in the heart of Baku specializes in Azerbaijani, European, and Georgian dishes. Azerbaijani cuisine is famous for an abundance of vegetables and greens, fresh herbs, and because it's situated next to the Caspian Sea, some of the world's finest caviar. Kebabs of lamb, beef, or chicken are also widely popular. Dried fruits and nuts are used in the preparation of many Azeri dishes. Modern Azerbaijan is recognized throughout the world by its national leader, Haydar Aliyev. And the center bearing his name has become a symbol of modern Azerbaijan and modern Baku. The Haider Aliyev Museum consists of a concert hall, exhibition area, exhibits featuring the treasures of the country as well as that of the third president of Azerbaijan. These are gifts from different countries to the president. Bill Clinton gave our beautiful eagle. The Haider Aliyev Center has been called one of the world's most beautiful concert halls. Azerbaijan is considered to be one of the oldest centers of the petroleum industry. 
By the late 19th century, Azerbaijan provided for approximately half of the global oil supply. In 1848, the world's first oil well was drilled in Azerbaijan more than a decade before it was done in Pennsylvania in 1859. The first industrial oil production also began in Azerbaijan in 1872. The Caucasus Mountains lie between the Black and the Caspian Sea in the Caucasus region. The Caucasus are made up of two separate mountain ranges, the Greater Caucasus in the north and the Lesser Caucasus in the western part of Azerbaijan. The Caucasus Mountains are usually considered the dividing line between Asia and Europe. Here in the Caucasus Mountains, there are many different ethnic groups. This village has the Himalik people. They're Caucasians. There are a few thousand of them, 900 right here. My name is Joseph. I'm from East Himalik. Himalik beautiful. Make yourself at home. The village of Himalik is located just north of Kuba in the middle of the Greater Caucasus Mountains. It's considered to be the highest, most remote, and most isolated village in Azerbaijan. Because of its location, scenery, and relative isolation, Khinalik is considered one of Azerbaijan's premier destinations for hikers and adventure travelers. of Aguz, about 200 miles from the capital city of Baku, is a Jewish population. About 20 years ago, there were still 2,000 here. Now there are about 25 families of about 80 people, but they are very proud to maintain this synagogue built in 1849 and restore it in the 1990s with the help of the United States Jewish World Congress. This is the famous Red Town in the Guba region of Azerbaijan. Located 102 miles northwest of Baku, this Jewish town is considered to be one of the largest all-Jewish towns outside of Israel. The history of Jews in this part of Azerbaijan is remarkable. Jews, by some accounts, have been living within the territory of Azerbaijan for more than 2,500 years. The traditional view is that their ancestors arrived in the territory of Azerbaijan following the destruction of Jerusalem by Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonian king, in 586 BCE. During the reign of the Azerbaijani state of the Shirvan Shahs, the majority of the Jewish population of Azerbaijan concentrated in the Guba Khatzmaz region. Azerbaijan is proud of its ancient traditions of tolerance, interfaith harmony, and multiculturalism. Muslims, Christians, Jews, and other faiths have been living together in peace and dignity in this majority Muslim country for centuries. Today, this policy of interfaith harmony is vigorously supported and strengthened by the government of Azerbaijan through its building and rebuilding of synagogues, churches, and mosques in the country, and financially helping all religious communities without any discrimination.
Azerbaijan is also one of the earliest centers of Christianity. Christianity was declared the official state religion in the year 313. Today, the Christian community of Azerbaijan is the largest religious community after the Muslim community. Orthodox, Catholic, and Protestant churches flourish in the country. There have been Christians in this region for over 2,000 years. There's an ethnic group known as Albanian Udi, about 10,000 individuals, who built this church in the 1700s, but they restored it just a few years ago. They practiced the Eastern Orthodox traditions. Azerbaijan's Nij village is located in what was once known as Caucasian Albania, and this region was Christian for hundreds of years before the arrival of Islam. The Azeri people are proud to have the Christian Udis amongst them, and support is now coming from the Azerbaijani government. This Kuba memorial is dedicated to the 12,000 Azerbaijanis, including Jews, who were killed in 1918 by the Armenians. There are 40 symbolic gravestones, a museum, as well as some of the skeletons. A very unique geological phenomenon exists in Azerbaijan, known as mud volcanoes. Mud volcanoes are similar to magma volcanoes. However, mud volcanoes spew hydrocarbon gases and mud at the same time. During their eruption, big flames may occur. Mud volcanoes are also the indicators of hydrocarbon reserves in the area. Out of an estimated 800 mud volcanoes worldwide, roughly 350 of them are located in Azerbaijan. The Gobustan rock art cultural landscape covers three areas of a plateau of rocky boulders rising out of the semi-desert of central Azerbaijan with an outstanding collection of more than 6,000 rock engravings bearing testimony to 40,000 years of rock art. In 1939, miners discovered some petroglyphs. Archaeologists then came and found over 2,700 on 143 acres. In the 1960s, they built a museum here in Gobastan. It's so great to be able to take the walkways and get so close to these rock art carvings. The site also features the remains of inhabited caves, settlements, and burial grounds, all reflecting an intensive human use by the inhabitants of the area during the wet period that followed the last ice age, from the Upper Paleolithic to the Middle Ages. The Temple of Fire Worshippers, Ateshka, is located in the Apsharan Peninsula at the outskirts of Surakhani village, 18 miles from the center of Baku, and was revered in different times by Zoroastrians, Hindus, and Sikhs. The history of Atashka is rooted in the time of the Sassanid dynasty, when Zoroastrianism was the dominant religion of the region. However, in the year 643, the territory of the Caucasus was invaded by the army of the Arab Caliphate, which brought Islam to the region, and fire temples fell into decay. The Gala Ethnographical Reserve and Historic Village is dedicated to the history of the Absheron Peninsula and the lifestyles of its inhabitants, spanning the period from the 15th to the 19th centuries. The Gala Ethnographic Museum Complex has one section of archaeological and historical objects, another with antiques, and then even a restored castle.
This is both the living room and the bedroom and the workroom. We see a 200 year old loom here. They slept. They would put a board and rugs over the hot coals so they could stay warm. And then they also store during the day the beddings. Outside are wells. Gala was the center of salt export, so they stored salt, and they also had a well for wheat. In addition to the dwellings, there's a blacksmith shop, threshing mill, and other medieval exhibits. There's even a livestock area where you can get up close and personal with a camel. Archaeologists have found evidence that the earliest inhabitants of the area were there at least 5,000 years earlier. The first row of petroglyphs are the real ones. Then they have a row of imitation petroglyphs. The last row, they just wanted some decorations. On a hillside known as Yanardag, near Baku, flames shoot into the air 10 feet from a thin porous sandstone layer at the base of a 30-foot wide escarpment. Only a handful of fire mountains exist today in the world, and most are located in Azerbaijan. Due to the large concentration of natural gas under the Absharon Peninsula, Natural flames burned there throughout antiquity and were reported by historical writers such as Marco Polo. In addition to the fire coming out of the rocks, they brought rocks in from around the peninsula that are musical. The Alpine settlement of Lahij, located in the Ismaili region of Azerbaijan, is a famous center for antique urban and architectural art. This medieval town with cobbled streets and squares is one of the most famous craft and trading centers in the Caucasus and beyond. Lahij became especially famous for manufacturing knives and copper utensils decorated with engraved designs. Even today, a dozen workshops operate here, with craftsmen demonstrating the techniques that have been passed down to them for the delighted tourists. The town was founded in the 4th century, and it's astonishing that the water supply and sewage system operating in the town is about 1,500 years old. None of the residents know where the drainage begins and where it ends, but they know it still works after many centuries of continuous use. Naftalan is a well-known petroleum spa resort, the center of medical tourism in Azerbaijan. It's located about 200 miles west of Baku. People come from all over for the unique Naftalan oil that is unlike anything else in the world. It is a thick liquid with a brown-black color and a specific odor. The efficacy of naphtalon oil is confirmed by numerous scientific studies and more than 100 years of experience in the treatment of various diseases. It's really oily. It feels sort of muddy too. Naphtalon today is a modern recreation and rehabilitation center.
the beautiful setting, the unique therapies, European comfort, Azerbaijani hospitality, and affordable prices combine to make this a unique tourist experience. Shadag is a mountain peak of the Greater Caucasus region located in the Gusar region of Azerbaijan. The elevation of the peak is 13,920 feet above sea level. Here in the heart of the Caucasus Mountains is the Shadag Mountain Resort. In the wintertime, it's great skiing and all the rest of the year, wonderful outdoor activities. Line, paintball, soon a golf course, so many activities. I'll definitely have to come back. I can take a segue, or this bicycle only has brakes to go downhill, so I can take it up on the cable car and come down. Kids can use the four wheelers or we can just use our two legs and walk and hike and enjoy the mountains. Prehistoric cave dwellings have been discovered at the base of the mountain, indicating habitation for over 9,000 years. Shaki is one of the most ancient towns in the Caucasus. It dates back to the late Bronze Age and played a vital role in the development of Azerbaijani culture. The designation of a Silk Road connecting the west to the east directly applies to Shaki, for it was once a great silk center. In the 1700s, there were many different city-states. This was the summer palace of one of the rulers. They were known as Khans. In the 1800s, the Tsar of Russia took over the territory, used the building for administrative purposes, and now it's a museum. Here in the Queen's room, I feel like a queen. Situated like an amphitheater surrounded by mountains and forests of oak trees, Shaki rises above fertile pastures and fields. Shaki grew to become one of the largest towns in Azerbaijan. Today, it has a population of approximately 90,000. This is one of the earliest churches in the region. As an Orthodox Christian church, it was built in the 400s and was used until the 600s when the area was conquered by Islam. Now it's a folk art museum. In the village of Kish is one of the oldest Christian churches in the region. Built in the first to second centuries, it was active until the eighth century. Then, for over 1,200 years, it stayed here abandoned, but a few years ago, they made it a museum.
Here is a crypt for burials from the 2nd to the 12th centuries. This ancient monument of Azerbaijani Albanian architecture is certainly the oldest church in the Caucasus. Merchants passing through the town stayed at one of its five caravanserais. In these two-storied hotels for camel caravans, the goods, horses, and camels were kept downstairs while the merchants stayed in rooms upstairs. Many travelers used to stay there since Shaki was a transit town between east and west as well as between north and south. It was an end for themselves and their animals. In the 1900s, this place was in disuse, but a few decades ago, they made it a new hotel. Traveling through Azerbaijan has been a delight. This modern, vibrant Euro-Asian country on the Caspian Sea has a rich cultural history and incredible natural areas. I look forward to returning to see more. On behalf of our nonprofit organization, Educational Communications and Econews, I'm Nancy Perlman wishing you a natural, unspoiled environment.